and welcome to Osborne Fishing. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make a descending device. Um, the reason we're talking about this is the January 13th, 2022 requirements from NOAA that you need a descending device to release fish. So what I'd like to do is show you how to make one of those really quickly and cheaply. Uh, the regulations that we'll be dealing with are for the descending device. Um, you also can use a venting tool. We're not gonna be talking about that today. I do wanna point out one thing. You can no longer use a knife or an ice pick as a uh, puncturing tool, a venting tool. So just keep that in mind. If you come, if they check your boat and this is all you have, you won't meet the requirements. So that's one of the reasons that I'm going to a simple uh, descending device. What we're looking at is that device needs to be able to release the fish at the depth caught. It must be rigged and ready to go, and that is important. If you have it tucked away somewhere, the, that could still cause a problem for you. <clears throat> you can have a weighted hook, a lip clamp, or a box. We're going to be dealing with the weighted hook, and it has to be at least 16 ounces of weight with a minimum of 60 feet of line attached. So that's basically what we're going to show you today. We'll, we'll give you the device, and then you just need to either hook it to a rod or something else and be able to release the fish that way. So let's go ahead and get going, and I'll show you how to hook one up real quick. It's actually very simple. I only really need three things to do this. I'm going to be using a circle hook um, in my descending device. You can use a J hook um, as long as it's a big hook and, and the fish can fit on it. Um, basically any size hook will work. I like the circle hooks because if you bend the tip out just a little bit, which I did with the pliers, and then uh, on any hook you want to knock the barb off so it will easily come off the fish whenever it's released. But the circle hook actually when it's in stock Installed, will kind of hold the fish on there until it gets to depth. So I do like using a circle hook. What we uh, also have here is about six feet of 200 pound uh, Dacron. You can use any type of fishing line that you have. Uh, 130 pound if you've got it available braid anything will work you just need something that will hold the weight of a 16 ounce uh, weight and the fish on the line. So Basically, to make this thing is very, very simple. We're just going to take the ends and put them together. And I'm going to do a quick overhand knot that you can see here. So I'm just making a loop is all I'm basically doing, a closed uh, circle. I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to go through the eye of the hook and then bring my knot back through that. So I've secured... <coughs> Secure the uh, line to the hook. I'm gonna lay the hook facing upward on my weight. And then I'm just going to wrap that around tightly onto the weight. Now just to secure it a little bit better, I'm just gonna do a quick half hitch. And I'm gonna do one more of those. Just hold that tightly like that. Go ahead and go around one more time. And then I'm just going to bring the line through my weight. Like that. And there you go. That's really all you need right there for your release device. So basically how this works is you'll hook the fish jaw on this. Drop the weight down, it will pull the fish down as it goes. Once it reaches the bottom, you want this to be slack on the way down. But when it releases the bottom, you'll pick up like this, and the fish will just slip right off of that hook. And so that's your basic releasing device. Now, what I would also uh, recommend doing, almost every boat does have uh, electric tape on it. You can go ahead and wrap this up with electric tape, and that will kind of make it a permanent permanent device for you. Again, that's pretty simple. And you can make it as pretty or unpretty as you want. And there we go. 
and that does meet all the NOAA requirements and it will also allow you to release the fish quickly so if you're out there and you realize you forgot a, a descending device you can make this on the boat pretty simple and that should work for you hope you guys catch some fish and we'll see you on the water